हेलो बच्चों कैसे हो होप एवरी वन इज़ फाइन एंड डूइंग ग्रेट मस्ती के साथ साथ पढ़ाई भी करते होंगे वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल विथलम एकेडमी विच इज़ एन ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म माई सेल भावेश पटेल आज हम लोग फ्रैक्शन के बारे में बात करेंगे इन दिस वीडियो पार्ट वन वी विल लर्न वॉट इज फ्रैक्शन एंड टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शन so let's start what is fraction fraction is a part of a whole iska matlab hai ki suppose aapke paas pura chocolate hai ya biscuit hai to uska jo part hai that is known as a fraction for example consider a cake as a whole and if you give half to your sister then half remains with you and each part is known as a fraction and that fraction is known as half which is nothing but 1 upon 2 1 by 2 fraction is written in the form of numerator then there is a fraction bar and below that fraction bar there is a denominator अब वो फ्रैक्शन बार इट्स अ न्यूमरेटर बिलो फ्रैक्शन बार इट्स अ डिनोमिनेटर और वी विल राइट एज एन बाय डी और एन अपॉन डी डिनोमिनेटर इज नथिंग बट टोटल नंबर ऑफ इक्वल पार्ट्स द होल इज डिवाइडेड इनटू हमारा जो एग्जांपल था कि हमने केक को दो पार्ट में डिवाइड किया That's why denominator is known as a two, while the numerator is nothing but number of parts, number of equal parts taken into considerations for a particular case. हमारा जो केस था उसमें हमने एक एक पार्ट out of two, एक एक पार्ट one part I had given to my sister and one part I kept for myself. so that's why in this case numerator is known as 1 and hence the fraction is written as 1 upon 2 or 1 by 2 or it's a half now let's understand types of fractions first it's a unit fractions unit fraction is nothing but jisme the numerator will be as 1 the fractions which have numerator as 1 are known as a unit fraction for example 1 by 2 or 1 by 5 or 1 upon 11 in all these three case the numerator is 1 hence all these three fractions are known as a unit fractions then there is a like fractions fractions which have same denominators are called like fractions for example here suppose there is a seven parts and out of seven parts the green one is one hence the green color fraction will be denoted as numerator 1 by denominator denominator 7 so it is 1 by 7 same way suppose there is a eight parts and out of eight parts three are the yellow colors so numerator will be 3 and denominators will be 8 so 3 by 8 is a fraction same way suppose there is a seven parts out of that seven part five are sky blue colors hence the fraction will be 5 upon 7 or 5 by 7 so in that in this case there are three fractions out of that three jiska denominator same hai denominator kiska same hai to 1 by 7 and 5 by 7 these two fraction are known as a like fractions so like fraction mein aapka denominator same hona chahiye then there is a unlike fractions 
अनलाइक फ्रैक्शन मीन्स इट्स अ डिफरेंट डिनोमिनेटर्स लाइक फ्रैक्शन में सेम डिनोमिनेटर्स डिनोमिनेटर्स अनलाइक फ्रैक्शन में इट्स अ डिफरेंट डिनोमिनेटर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेम केस ग्रीन कलर वन बाय सेवन येलो कलर थ्री बाय एट एंड स्काई ब्लू कलर फाइव बाय सेवन सो हियर वन अपॉन सेवन एंड थ्री बाय एट आर अनलाइक फ्रैक्शन बिकॉज द डिनोमिनेटर्स आर डिफरेंट और वी विल से थ्री बाय एट एंड फाइव बाय सेवन आर अनलाइक फ्रैक्शन नेक्स्ट इज अ प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन का मतलब है अ फ्रैक्शन हुज न्यूमरेटर इज लेसर देन डिनोमिनेटर इज नोन एज अ प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन या मैं ये बोलूंगा डिनोमिनेटर इज मोर देन द न्यूमरेटर सो न्यूमरेटर इज स्मॉलर डिनोमिनेटर इज लार्जर एंड अपॉन डी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सी हियर इट इज प्रॉपर फॉर फादर बर्ड टू होल्ड अप दी बेबी बर्ड सो न्यूमिनेटर बेबी बर्ड डिनोमिनेटर फादर बर्ड सो इट इज प्रॉपर If I talk about some example, one by seven, three by eight, or five by seven, these all are known as the proper fractions because the numerator is smaller than the denominators. Remember one thing: value of proper fraction is always less than one, and that is the reason it is known as a proper fractions. Then there is a improper fractions. इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन मतलब इट्स अपोजिट ऑफ प्रॉपर वेर द न्यूमरेटर इज ग्रेटर देन डिनोमिनेटर और डिनोमिनेटर इज स्मॉलर देन न्यूमरेटर सो इट इज इम प्रॉपर फॉर अ बेबी बर्ड टू होल्ड अप द फादर बर्ड इट इज इम प्रॉपर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एट बाई थ्री सेवन बाई फाइव और इलेवन बाई फोर इस तीनों तीन एग्जाम्पल में अगर आप देखेंगे तो न्यूमरेटर इज ग्रेटर देन डिनोमिनेटर एंड दैट इज द रीजन इट इज नोन एज अ इम प्रॉपर रिमेंबर वैल्यू ऑफ द प्रॉपर इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन वन देन देर इज अ मिक्स फ्रैक्शन अ फ्रैक्शन विच हैव टू पार्ट्स one is whole number like 1 2 3 10 15 20 and after whole number there is a proper fractions will be followed so combination of this two part is known as a mixed fraction for example one as a whole number 3 by 4 so one is a whole number and 3 by 4 that is a proper fractions so one whole 3 by 4 is known as a mixed fractions so we understood unit fractions then there's a like fractions unlike fractions proper fractions improper fractions and mixed fractions now let's understand how to convert improper fractions to mixed fractions For example, here there is a eleven by four, which is a improper fractions. So we have to convert this improper fractions to mixed fractions. So first step, divide the numerator, that is eleven, with denominator that is four, and find out the remainder. So eleven by four. If I say the table of four, four ones are four, four twos are eight, and four threes are twelve, which is higher than, more than the eleven. That's why four twos are eight, and then remainder will be three. So first we have to divide and find out the remainder, and then we have to write in the form of Q that is quotient 
by quotient and then r by d where r is remainder and d is a divisor. So here first quotient. So this is your quotient 2. Then let's say we will write down the divisor. Divisor will be 4. And then remainder 3. So the mixed fraction of improper fractions 11 by 4 is nothing but 2 3 by 4 where 2 is a whole number and 3 by 4 is a proper fractions. Let's do one more exercise. Let's say 32 by 9 which is an improper fraction. So first we have to divide the numerator with the uh, numerator with the denominator and find out the remainder. So 32 by 9. So 9 threes are 27, 9 fours are 36. So 9 threes are and 27 if I subtract the remainder will be 5. And next step is to write in the form of Q R by D. So first Q that is quotient that is 3. Then there is a divisor that is 9. And there is a remainder that is 5. So 32 by 9 will be written in the mixed fraction as 3 as a whole 5 by 9. Let's do one more exercise 43 by 6. So first step divide the numerator with the denominator and find the remainder. So 43 by 6, 7 6 are 42, remainder will be 1. Then step 2 will be write in the form of Q R by D. So first Q that is 7, then divisor that is 6 and R that is remainder that is 1. So 43 by 6 which is improper fractions will be written as 7 whole 1 upon 6. So 1 by 6 is the proper fractions. So 7 whole 1 upon 6 is a mixed fractions. So this is how we can convert improper fractions to mixed fractions. Now let us understand reverse that is conversion of mixed fractions to improper fractions. For example here there is a mixed fractions 1 as a whole 3 by 4. Now in order to convert the mixed fractions to improper fractions first of all we will write the denominators. Then in the numerator we will do divisor into quotient that is 4 into 1 and then we will add the remainder that is 3. So that means one whole 3 by 4 mixed fractions will be written as 4 into 1 plus 3 upon 4. So 4 into 1, 4, 4 plus 3, 7 and it is 7 by 4. So D into Q divisor into quotient plus remainder that is a numerator upon divisor that becomes the denominators. Now let's do one more exercise. Let's say 3 whole 7 by 9 that is a mixed fractions. So first we will do divisor denominator will be same as divisor, numerator will be d into q plus r. So 9 into 3 plus 7 upon 9, 9 3 is a 27 plus 7 upon 9 which is equivalent to 34 upon 9. So 34 by 9 is the improper fractions. Let's do one more, 4 as a whole 5 upon 6. 5 by 6 is a proper fractions. 
So this is mixed fractions. Let's convert to improper fractions. So denominator will be divisors, which is 6. Numerator will be D into Q plus R, that is 6 into 4 plus remainder, that is 5. So 6 into 4 plus 5 upon 6. 6 fours are 24. 24 plus 5 upon 6. So 24 plus 5 is 29 upon 6. So 29 by 6 is the improper fractures which is converted from mixed fractions of 4 whole 5 upon 6. So this is how you can convert mixed fractions to improper fractions. Then there is a equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions ka matlab hai fractions which represent same portion of whole are known as the equivalent fractions. For example, suppose I have a, let's say, chocolate. If I do two parts and one of the part, let's say, green, here if you see, the fraction will be 1 upon 2. Now, same chocolate ka, agar mein char part karta hu, rather than 2, if I go for 4 parts and 2 parts is a yellow color, then here if you see the fraction will be yellow, ki ba yellow color ki agar mein baat karu fractions mein to 2 upon 4. Same way, same size chocolate if I go for 8 parts and out of 8 parts, 4 is a sky blue color, then the fraction will be 4 by 8. Now if you see here, 1 upon 2, you have 1 half, 2 by 4 or 4 by 8. These are the different fractions. But if you notice, even though there are different color, the part remains same. Whole ka portion jo hai, here, this much, here it is same, here is also same. That means portion is same of whole, even though it's a different fractions, but the portion is same. That's why half, 2 by 4 or 4 by 8, all these fractions are known as a equivalent fractions. So, how to make this equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions can be easily, you know, made by either multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator with same non-zero number. Ya to aap us numerator and denominator ko ya to multiply kijiye ya divide kijiye. But condition is same non-zero number, same number, but other than zero. Remember, either you multiply or divide, not addition or subtractions. Either multiply or divide. So let's understand this, how to convert by multiplying. Suppose there is a 1 by 3. Now, if I want to find out the equivalent number or equivalent fractions, I can multiply numerator and divide with the same number, let's say 2. So, 1 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 into 2, yeah, upon 3 upon 2, 3 multiplied by 2. And hence, the fraction will be 2 by 6. Same way, 1 upon 3, I can multiply by with some other number, let's say 3. So, 1 into 3 upon 3 into 3. So, 3 by 9. Another way, suppose I will multiply by 7. So, numerator 1 into 7, denominator 3 into 7 and hence the fraction becomes 7 upon 21. So, this 2 by 6, 3 by 9 and 7 by 21 are known as a equivalent fractions. So, here in this one, we understood how to convert how to find out the equivalent fractions by multiplying numerator and denominator with same non-zero number. 
same way we can find out by dividing also for example suppose 18 by 36 is one of the fractions now if I divide with common factor of numerator and denominator that is 18 and 36 common factor is let's say 2 so if I divide by 2 18 divided by 2 upon 36 divided by 2 the fraction becomes 9 upon 18 same way 18 by 36 has a apart from 2 which is another common factor that is 3 so if I divide it by 3 the fractions will become 6 by 12 same way 18 by 36 another common factor is apart from 2 and 3 18 so if I divide numerator and divide by, uh, numerator and denominator by 18 the fraction becomes half so this 9 by 18 6 by 12 and half are equivalent fraction of 18 by 36 so now let's understand with some let's do some exercise write the four fractions equivalent to half 1 upon 2 so four fraction which is equivalent so this can be at find out by multiplying with some number some non zero number let's say half i will multiply by 2 so 1 into 2 upon 2 into 2 equivalents to 2 upon 4 half can be multiplying by by some other number that is apart from 2 let's say 3 so 3 by 6 half can be multiplied by 4 so 4 by 8 same way half can be multiplied by 5 so 1 into 5 upon 2 into 5 so fraction becomes 5 upon 10 so this 2 by 4 3 by 6 and 4 by 8 and 5 by 10 are equivalent fraction of half let's do one more write three fractions equivalent to 3 by 4 so 3 upon 4 which is a proper fractions let's find out by multiplying some number let's say multiply by 2 so 3 into 2 upon 4 in 4 into 2 that is 6 by 8 same way 3 by 4 can be multiplied by 3 so 3 into 3 upon 4 into 3 so 9 by 12 same way 3 by 4 3 by, let's say multiply by 6 so 3 into 6 upon 4 in 4 multiplied by 6 so 18 by 24 so this 6 by 8 9 by 12 18 by 24 are equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 so this is how you can find out the equivalent fractions let's do one more exercise find out the x by some by the correct number if condition is 2 upon 7 are equivalent to 8 upon x that means 8 upon x is equivalent of 2 upon 7 so in numerator we actually x is a denominator we have to find out the x which is a denominator but we know numerator there is a 8 so to get 8 in the numerator we have to multiply this 2 by 4 hence we will get the 8 so if we multiply numerator by 4 we have to multiply denominator also by 4 only so 2 upon 7 equivalents to we have to multiply by 4 both the number numerator and denominator so fraction becomes 2 into 4 upon 7 into 4 hence it is 8 upon 28 hence this x is 28 that's the answer let's do one more exercise find out the yeah, right and equivalent fractions of 5 by 9 having denominator 45 
So here it is given equivalent fraction but denominator is 45. That means 5 by 9 equivalent to equal to question mark at the numerator upon 45. So if we want 45 at the denominator, what we have to do? We have to multiply this 9 by 5. Ye 9 ko aapko 5 se multiply karna padega. That means 9 5 is 45. If I multiply this by 5, I have to multiply numerator by same number that is 5. So 5 by 9 equals to 5 into 5 upon 9 into 5 and hence it becomes 25 by 45. So equivalent fraction of 5 by 9 is 25 upon 45 having denominator is 45. So this is how we can find out by multiplying the numerator and denominator with the same number. Let's do one more exercise. Write an equivalent fractions of 45 upon 54 having numerator 5. That means 45 upon 54 equals to 5 upon some number question mark. So now here we want to get 5 in the numerator. Now to get the 5 in the numerator, what we have to do? We have to divide this numerator by some number so that we will get the 5. So obviously that number is 9. So to get the 5 in the numerator, we have to divide 45 by 9. And if I divide this numerator by 9, I have to also divide 54 with the same number. So denominator is also has to be divided by 9. So 45 upon 54 is equals to 45 by 9 upon 54 by 9. Hence it becomes 5 by 6. So 45 50 by 54 and 5 by 6 are equivalent fraction having numerator is 5. Now let's do one more exercise. Write an equivalent fractions of 35 by 42 with denominator 18. So 35 upon 42 equals to question mark upon 18. Now if you see here First of all, we have to divide something 42 by x by some number so that we will get the 18. Abhi tak jo humne numerical kiya ya exercise kiya, usme ek number se hum log divide karte the, to sida ya to numerator and denominator mil jata tha. Because it was a common factor. But yaha pe agar aap dekhenge, कौन से नंबर से आप डिवाइड करेंगे तो 18 आएगा तो ऐसा तो कोई नंबर है नहीं सो टू गेट इन गेट 18 इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव टू फर्स्ट डिवाइड बोथ द न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बाय अ हाईएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर हाईएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर क्या है ये दोनों का तो इट इज 7 so first of all we have to divide so highest common factor is 7 so first let's divide 35 by 42 by 7 so fraction becomes 35 divided by 7 upon 42 by divided by 7 equals to 5 by 6 so 5 by 6 is equivalent fraction of 35 by 42 but denominator is not 18 that's the conditions that's what we have to fulfill now but 5 by 6 is equivalent so now we will do one more one more steps kya karenge 5 by 6 ko abhi hum log convert karenge equivalent mein so that denominator will be 18 now to get the denominator 18 what we will do? We will multiply both by 3. So, 5 into 3 upon 
6 into 3 equals to 15 upon 18. Now you can see here the equivalent fraction of 35 by 42 is 15 by 18 having denominator of 18. Correct? So this is how in a two steps you can do. First you will divide with the highest common factor and then you will multiply. Let's do one more exercise like that. Write an equivalent fractions of 22 upon 77 with the numerator of 4. So here is also there is no straight away number where we can you know just divide with some number so that in the numerator we will get 4. But yes we can find out this in two steps. First we will divide with the highest common factor of 22 by and 77 that highest common factor is 11. So first we will divide. So 22 upon 77 is equals to 22 divided by 11 upon 77 divided by 11 that becomes 2 by 7. Now we can get the numerator as a 4 from this 2 by 7. Now if I want 4 as a numerator what we have to do we have to multiply by 2. Numerator and denominator both will multiply by 2 so that means 2 by 7 becomes 2 into 2 upon 7 upon 7 multiplied by 2 which is equivalent to 4 upon 14. Hence 22 by 77 having numerator of 4 denominator will become 14 and both will be the equivalent fractions. So this is how you can find out. We can cross check also. Suppose we want to taste whether two fractions are equivalent or not. Then what we have to do? First, we have to multiply numerator of the first, multiply by denominator of the second. So numerator of the first into denominator of second is supposed to be equal as denominator of first into numerator of the second. Let's understand with one exercise. Check whether this 3 by 7 and 9 by 21 are equivalent or not. So to in order to check this cross check, what we have to do? We have to cross multiply. As I have shown here, 3 by 7, 9 by 21. So we'll cross multiply 3 into 27, 7 into 9. And both answer is supposed to be same. So 3 into 21, that is 63. 7 into 9, that is also 63. So answer is same. Hence, this, uh, both the fractions are equivalent fractions. Let's do one more. Check whether 4 upon 5, yeah, 4 by 5 and 12 by 22 are equivalent fraction or not. Now to cross check, we have to do cross multiplications. So 4 into 20, 80. And 5 into 12, that is 60. So two cross products are not equal. That means both above fractions are not equivalent fractions. This is how we can cross check. So finally, few things which we have to remember. Remember these things. Note down these points. First, what we have, we will just uh, summarize. First, a fraction indicates one or more parts of whole. Fractions with one as a numerator are known as a unit fractions. One upon five, one upon seven, one upon eleven. Fractions with same denominator denominators are known as a like fractions. Fractions with different denominators are known as a unlike fractions. A fractions with numerator less than its denominator is known as a proper fractions. A fractions with numerator greater than its denominator is known as a improper fractions. A combination of a whole number 
and the proper fraction is known as a mixed fractions. A fraction obtained by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by same non-zero numbers is known as a equivalent fractions of the given fractions. Remember it's a multiplications or dividing not addition and subtractions and other than zero. So that's about in today's video. Thank you. Once again myself Bhavesh Patel from Vithlam Academy. You can reach out us at VIWTHALM ACADEMY Vithalam Academy at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.